Hey, everyone. What you're about to listen to is a preview of a bonus episode that is available on our Patreon. If you like this clip, you can grab the whole episode, as well as years of other bonus content, at www.patreon.com slash lionsledbydonkeys. You know, the like only we're... thing we get is the introduction of Germany's Gundam. Yes. Yes. Uh, piloted by a guy named Schwartz Brower. No. no, 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 Jojo, save, save it until... I'm not going to say episode. anything. I'm just just making a comment about his name. Now, I don't speak German. I'm studying Dutch, but I did. Uh, I know enough of it to know that his name literally just means black brother. I don't know if that's leading to anything, um, but I do know it's weird. <laughs> oh, Japan. Japan. I have a feeling something's going to happen because he's so he's wearing what is effectively a German flag version of a gimp suit. Yeah. Um. But the but the mask part of the flag is backwards. They don't match, and it drives me insane. Also, I was really annoyed because it's like, because he shows up and like he said, Rain stumbles upon like the chamber where essentially Devil Gundam's being reconstituted through absorbing the other mobile suits. I don't really understand it, but I think it's I think he's absorbing like the the DG cells. I assume that would make yeah. more sense, mm-hmm. uh, but it's never really fully explained. Also, the Devil Gundam looks terrible. Yeah, it uh, looks look- it looks like you know um, a Jack in the Box clown when it pops out because mm-hmm. it's got that big long like weird accordion looking ass torso. I guess that's its mm-hmm. torso, and it leads back to a giant glowing ball sack. Yeah, Devil Gundam's got a BBL. <laughs> Got a fat ass ball sack. <laughs> Damn, son. You bring your big ball sack everywhere with you. Um, and like, yeah, the other mobile suits are like helping reconstitute Devil Gundam and Master Asia, or one of the like mobile suits is like, I'm gonna kill Rain. And then this like outline of a guy saves her, but we don't see who it is. Um, and then she they try to get um outside because they're underground to warn everyone that like oh the re- they weren't like trying to destroy Shinjuku they were like trying to protect Devil Gundam right. um, while it like evolves or powers up or whatever but like also I'm kind of confused because like Kyoji is like just sitting on the outside of it is he asleep is he also doing some sort of like energy transfer is he doing like wireless chi ch- standard charging like wireless charging I think you, we might be uh, in spirit bomb territory. Mm. They can't, uh, and uh, maybe it's co- copyrighted. I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe maybe the ghost of Akira Toriyama will phase through and rip their heart out. Maybe Kyoji's got the MagSafe boat plug on. <laughs> and you might be so. The most important thing to remember here: this masked man appears, mm-hmm. and that is Schwartz Brower. Um, the uh, so in the dub they call it Shadow Gundam. Mm. And originally it was called Gundam Spiegel, I guess because they couldn't give credit to Spike where it's belonged. But um, no, this came out before Cowboy Bebop. I I reject your reality and substitute my own. Now he's a ninja. I cannot under we have a German ninja. Uh, he uses like very. Uh, he's dressed like a ninja, in it, but it's a German flag. His oh, yes, Gundam. Oh, mine bitter. Please, please uh, do not mind my ninjutsu. Please do not mind my shinobu skills. So, and his Gundam is a is a ninja with a World War One era German helmet, but the way because it has to be cut out for like a Gundam face, mm-hmm. it looks more like Darth Vader. Um, yeah, it's kind of a mist. So you're probably wondering why is Germany's Gundam fighter dark or black brother? Um, why is he a ninja? And I actually have the explanation from the creator. Okay, hit me. And it's probably exactly what you think it is. So in the interview, he says, I suppose people would say, since when does Germany have ninjas? And I would say, that doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love this guy. This <laughs> wasn't like it was meant to be someone else. And then they, in post, made him German. Yeah, that was but- his plan. Just make the German guy a ninja. He calls I, it German Nimpow. Or <laughs> but my favorite, uh, well, it's not favorite, my annoying complaint about his character design is I thought he was wearing a balaclava. He's not. He's wearing, like, a sock on his head because it has this, like, little, like, ponytail thing hanging off the back. 
He's got he's a German guy with a man bun, so it just sticks out the top, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's he is the German version of the Somerset Gimp. Yeah, exactly. He's wearing a gimp suit. Mm-hmm. We're, we're and, got, and, and of, of course, the German guy would be the one to wear the full gimp suit. That does make the most amount of sense possible. Uh, he, he, he took time out of his busy schedule of going to the weirdest, most hardcore sex clubs Neo-Germany has to offer to become, like, Domon's uh, Yoda. Yeah, I mean, like, if they weren't cowards, that he would have been piloting piss Gundam. <laughs> Powered purely <laughs> by piss. Piss jug Gundam. <laughs> Master Ager's like, please, just, just don't come near me. I'll tell you any, like, you're very sticky. Uh, I, I can't handle this. <laughs> don't talk to me until I've had my morning cup of piss. <laughs> Here, let me brew you up a fresh cup of piss. <laughs> I got one brewing right now. Uh, I do have someone that describes him as German flag, uh, German flag luchador Gundam. Mm. Uh, because of it, but I I don't see him as I don't see his mask as being luchador esque. It's very much a ninja. Um, I, I I once had a friend who drank a pint of piss for a bit. You said almost. No, oh no, sorry, sorry. He he drank an entire pint of piss for like a bet. Why? I don't know. How much for, was the bet for? I think it was like twenty euro. That is not nearly enough. <laughs> and it was like you know what? Like I think if it was like clear piss you could probably like convince yourself it wasn't piss but like this was like brown almost brown dehydrated piss did you need to go to dialysis or something why was it brown oh it wasn't his like actually like i suppose like in dune like the fremen are like recycling all their fluids so like why can't we do that i mean personally i recycle all of my fluids yeah it's not weird if it's your own yeah all of them you can tell these episodes are really light in content because we're fucking going wild. You can also tell we haven't recorded together in like three weeks. Hey, you listen to Lions Led by Donkeys for the history. That's as serious as we get. You listen to Lions Led by Robots to hear us die internally. And also to hear about <laughs> Tom's friend drinking piss. Uh, <laughs> this is why I'm not going to be hired by the History Channel. So can you tell us more about Hitler's DNA and also about your Irish friend's uh, friend drinking piss? I plead the fifth. Um, Listen, if it wasn't for the consequences and the fallout of World War II and the creation of the GDR, we would not have gotten the Bergheim piss guy. So, Are we sure this is not the Bergheim piss guy? Could be. Could be. Maybe he was a ninja before he was the piss guy. Yeah, it's hard out there for a ninja. You know, it's not, there's not a very good economy for ninjas anymore. Yeah, you know, all of the hardworking unionized ninjas have been replaced with gig apps. Mm-hmm. So now he's had to go to Neo Japan to pick up an apprentice. Yeah. Or also like the, the New York Lower East Side carpet guy as well. Do you know about this? No. God, what do I keep learning on this? Fuck? Last <laughs> month it was the fucking gimp guy. <laughs> Who you defended. By the way, someone did comment that Joe seems to know so little about fetishes that every episode just needs to horrify me. (laughs) This is payback for like everything that I have to hear on. I know. (laughs) So, yeah, it was this guy who like he would like go to like uh, New York City clubs on like the Lower East Side and like be rolled up in a carpet and just left on the floor. Or he'd like lie underneath the carpet and people just walk on him. Did he squirm around like a caterpillar once he was rubbed rolled up in it? No, you just, like, lie there. People walk on them. Did the people know that they're walking on a human being? Some people did. There's, like, I can't remember. There's some comedian See, I remember. because remember my line with the gimp was he wasn't touching anybody. But my, th- so, I can't remember what comedian it was, but they told a story about, like, going to a club and, like, walking in and, like, putting their foot down and hearing a noise. And then they're like, what? And they look down and just a guy's head, like, poking <laughs> out of the end of the carpet. Okay, now's my turn to fuck with you. Have you ever heard of the weird glove salesman guy? No. So it's something of an online cryptid. Um, you can go back on forums uh, years and years and years ago. You can go on Reddit and find people sharing the story. I forget which city it's in. I don't want to dox this strange, strange man. So it was a glove salesman sold leather gloves, and he effectively sold them at nightclubs. Okay. And he'd be like, you need to try it on first. Put the glove on real slow. And you did, it's not like he would like beat off or whatever, but it's very, he's very obviously getting off on people putting on tight leather gloves, right? 
And this is not an isolated incident. If you look it up, like creepy glove salesmen on on like Reddit or, you know, it probably goes back to something awful days as well. You will see dozens of people having run-ins with this man. Um, And it is creepy. People have noted, though, the gloves are nice. So... I mean, like, look, you know, if he's if if the gloves are if, no, if the gloves fit, you must commit. 